All right, so Thursday na naman, no? So panahon na naman for our next weekly charting session. Um, sa mga first time na nanonood, what happens here is we take a quick look at the PSEI. Then afterwards, we take a look at five names from yung trending list na galing sa Investa. So yun yung nakikita yung listahan na usually to the side uh, ng chart section ng Investa. Ano, so, yung mga uh, trending na stocks. So as always, we'll start off with the index. Um, when we were last looking at this, nandito tayo nun, no? It was this candle. Then, no Friday, ayun nga, uh, nagkaroon ng rebalancing, nagkaroon ng bentahan, and uh, malamang maraming napakat, no? Medyo nagulat din. Uh, tapos, when Monday opened, which was this candle, nag -gap up tayo, then after that, medyo tuloy-tuloy na. Okay? I made mention na itong candle na to, na nag -mock down tayo. Again, if you don't know what mock up or mock down is, I'm gonna link a video in the description box below. I made a quick explanation of what it is, talon sa mga mas bago, para lang mas familiar kayo sa mga terminologies, no? So, nag -mock down tayo rito, then we gapped up here, and then we started moving up. Then now, we're trading above this previous level of resistance. Diyan tayo na untog, eh, no? Today, we tried to trade below it, but we were, ano, we were able to close above it naman. Diba? So today, we're pushing down. Then the reverse, we pushed up. So we're closing today, Thursday, above tong 6.6. Actually, above 6.7, barely. Now, before we get too mm, ecstatic, we just need to remember na meron pa tayong resistance around here sa mga 6, 7, 6, 8 na area. Okay, and if we can break that, ayun, medyo mas nag-clear up ng konti yung canvas as it were. Okay, then maybe we can try to work our way back up to 7,000 again. Hopefully, yung mga sa inyo nag-aabang ng mga index names, nakaabang ka, nakakuha kayo na nag-pull back. Diba? Uh... We were quick to remind everyone na ito naman talaga yung area na natin that price could pull back into. Tinanggal ko na yung zone. Uh, as you can see, nag-iba rin pala ako ng kulay ng chart. No? And the reason for this is may natanggap kasi ako mga request na medyo masakit daw sa mata kapag kapote. So, dinark mode ko na lang. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope nakasalo kayo no? based sa usapan natin from before. Paulit-ulit din naman natin sinabi that price could come back to this area kasi yun nga, usually quick moves like this are eaten back up. Okay? So, ito, bumaksak. Again, this was rebalancing. Then, we moved higher from there. Now, what don't we want to see? If from here, we reverse and we actually break below tong 6.2 na area, then odds are we're gonna go back and revisit tong 6,000 na line. Okay? Kasi, dapat, ano na yan eh? Kung, kung iniisip nyo, ito yung low, high, higher low, then higher high, di ba? So, dapat, kung mag-pullback man tayo, we're starting to form a potential higher low. If we break lower, lower than this, hindi pa ako super magpapanik, pero below this, medyo, medyo mas kaduda-duda na, kumbaga. Yes, we're still uh, going back into an area of previous consolidation here, but it really shouldn't be back there after what it did. Diba? Nag-move na tayo eh. Considering ghost month pa and everything, so dapat, di na talaga siya babalik all the way back there. Now, let's take a quick look at yung five trending stocks natin for this week. Let's start with Asen, no? Everyone's favorite. So, Asen, uh, yun na nga, um, na-declare na siya as, uh, tawag ito, index name. Okay? So, price pushed up as expected. Uh, kung nakita nyo, nag-post ako sa Investa ng uh, chart ng Bloom, no? Kasi para sa akin, may similarities yung ginagawa nila, eh. Ganon din yung Bloom. Noong unang nabalita na it was gonna be included in the index, Pumitik din, nag-pull back, one last pitik, ito, tas sakat nag-pull back ulit. Now, ibig ba sabihin nun, susundan niya yung bloom, mabaksak din? Of course not. We're just trying to see, using, kumbaga, history or historical data, 
what price might do para we can try to anticipate what we can do moving forward. Now, if price is able to pull back into tong uh, white na zone dito sa baba, then maybe print some type of uh, bullish price action, maybe something like an uh, inverted head of shoulders or some type, parang ganyan. Baka pwede natin itry na mag-get on board there. Diba? Maybe it pushes up from there. But I wouldn't just catch it right now kasi baka marami rin gusto mag-take profit eh. Na-achieve na nila yung objective nila which was hintayin na makapasok to ng index. Diba? And then malamang may mga tao na tinitignan pa nila, okay, nakapasok na ng index. Now, what? Tataas pa ba? Or whatever? Or mga nag-trend follow so walang nagka-cut. Diba? So, that's what we want to see. We want to see strength before we move in rather than getting in an extreme weakness kasi hindi natin alam how it's gonna react. Now that, kumbaga tapos na yung hoopla. Diba? Na napasok na siya sa index at lahat-lahat tapos na. If it breaks below 7.6 na area, I expect na mas matinding retracement na yung magaganap. Maybe back to mga 6.5 na area, mga ganon around here. If ma-break tong 7.6, then likely will pull back even deeper and it might take a little bit of time bago siya umayos ulit. Uh, now, let's take a quick look at FA. So, FA, uh, from last Thursday, which was here, no? Ito. And uh, we were discussing and with some of my members at Discord na nauntog na nga siya sa resistance. May resistance tayo around this area. Ito yun, di ba? So, I was saying na kung ako yung nag-trade nito, I would have probably taken profit around this area kasi halos na-fill na natin yung gap na nandito eh. Di ba? So, now, nauntog siya sa resistance, we pull back, hintay tayo ulit. Will this area hold? Di ba? Will this area hold or will we break below 90 cents? If we break below 90 cents, then essentially, ang nangyayari lang is nagpapatuloy lang yung downtrend na pinaparod natin for a few months now. Di ba? But if sabi natin mag-hold to and we can break back above 1.4, then maybe we can revisit tong white na zone dito sa taas. May isa pang gap dito eh. Di ba? Maybe we can revisit that, fill the gap, then we'll see again what happens. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a quick look at tech. So tech actually, kakapost ko rin lang sa Investa if you guys wanna go check that out. Kasi nga, uh, I posted it in this candle here. So, Sabi ko, lumalapit na dito sa white na zone. So, all eyes, sa mga baka may magbabottom pick. Na taon nga, this push down, hindi umabot. Bumitin, no? Then, nag-close tayo ng uh, pin bar or hammer. Then, today, nagkaroon tayo ng impulse move higher. ba? However, the impulse move higher, we essentially move back into yung area of resistance here. Diba? Nag-hold tong area na to. Ilagyan natin. Nag-hold tong area na to as support. For these candles, then we broke down, we came back up, bumalik lang tayo sa previous area of support, now acting as resistance. Yes, I realized na, eh, lagpas naman ng konti, yes, that's true, but you have to realize that everything is an area, no? Hindi pwedeng sobrang mapilit sa isang precise location lang. So, ganito yung nangyari. So, what do we want to see? Diba? If you're bullish this, I still say na kailangan maklear niya tong 5.3 para masabi mo talagang, uy, May nagbago sa flow. ba? Kasi right now, let's say na i-trade mo lang to, for the short term, walang problema. Pero kunyari, long term, paano kung kunyari ganito yung nangyari? Nag-higher, nag-lower high lang siya, tas bagong lower low na naman. ba? Para masabi mo na may change in structure, kailangan uh, may break tayo. ba? Dito from the previous high. Para masabi natin, uy, we could be forming a higher high, then maybe we can get in on a higher low, and so on. Diba? In, in an attempt na to ride it higher. But right now, di pa natin yun masabi outright. Maybe sa lower time frames may uh, potential entry. But again, using lower time frames, we have to temper our expectations. Wala yung, ah, kapag binili ko kasi yan dyan, naabot na yan ng 7 pesos. Diba? We have to temper our expectations. Uh, next, let's take a quick look at AP. So, AP... Uh, unlike nung sa index, no, hindi siya yung nag-collapse nung nag-ano tayo, nung nag-rebalancing, nag down. In fact, it pushed higher, then just kept pushing higher from there. Today, nag-hit tayo dito sa resistance level, then nag-reject. So, ito yung area of interest natin. What happens from here? What's the price going to do? If price rejects from here, takes back this previous area, 
tries to go back it, ayaw bumaksak, then maybe mag-form tayo ng some type of range here or head and shoulders pattern or something, we, we have to wait and see. However, if price naman starts breaking up, then maybe ito na yung magiging bagong trading range natin. Yung 25.4 to 26.85 na area. Diba? Siyempre, again, you can't say that with any precision, but yun yung nakikita ko eh. Kasi normally, ganito siya eh, diba? It ranges, then falls, then ranges, diba? Falls, ranges, up, ranges, down, ranges, up. So, ganun din. Malamang, if it breaks up here, baka mag-range siya naman tayo somewhere within this area. Diba? Which is a decent trading range sa mga 5% or more din yung kikitain dito. Range konti. Then, we can decide. Then, the market will decide what it wants to do from there. Okay? But, as is, based on today's close, yung ito lang, itong candle na ito mismo, mahirap magsabi kasi it can still go both ways. Nag-reject tayo sa resistance eh. We rejected resistance, so... There's always a chance na we push back deeper from there. Pagka bumalik, range dito. Or kunyari, mag-reject up, tapos saka tayo mag-range doon. So, node-node lang muna tayo. Okay? And then finally, uh, let's take a look at DMC. So, DMC, this was affected nung nabalita na maaalis siya sa index, no? Yun yung nag-collapse tayo. Nag-collapse tayo, we came down here. Diba? Itong minor area na to. So, this was resistance turned support. Turn support once again. Diba? Ah, hindi. Hindi ko ito nasa low. Okay? <laughs> hindi ako ganun kagaling. Hindi ko gano'ng pinansin ito nung una. Kasi nga, for me, it was a minor area. Um, in hindsight, okay, in hindsight, pwede natin sabihin na, eh, dito nag-hold din siya, nag-hold din siya, nag-hold, nag-hold. So, yes. But at the time, personally, okay, this is just me, I was only looking here. Hindi ko, hindi ko naisip for some reason, for one reason or another, kung natignan pa to the left, kung nag-hold nga ba siya historically. So, I missed it. So, we, we came down, hit support, then we just pushed higher from there. But again, similar to AP, ito yung resistance level natin dito, di ba? It held as support, held as resistance, dyan na naman tayo nag-reject. So, we want to see what it does from here. Uh, pwede na parang mag-pullback siya muna dito. Maybe we get some type of inverted head and shoulders pattern. We push up, enter somewhere there to target this and that, di ba? Pwedeng ganon. Pwede rin naman na mangyari na, um, so just let me remove those. Uh, pwede rin mangyari na wala, wala muna. Mag-range lang muna tayo dito, hindi muna siya mag-decide. Pwede rin mangyari na we just fall, do this, untog tayo dito, then collapse. Hindi natin alam, di ba? Iisang candle pa lang yan. But those are the scenarios or some of the scenarios that I'd be watching out for. Di ba? Of course, there's always a possibility that I will never ever discount na bigla na lang, oh, gap up bukas, then we just run. Diba? Di natin alam. We don't know what the market's gonna do. We don't know what the market wants to do. But what we can say is, we were going up, then we hit resistance, and we rejected. So we just make a few scenarios that we can watch out for para kung ano man yung gawin na DMC, kung interesado man kayo dito, handa kayo. Hindi kayo magugulat and you can plan for it and kung gusto nyo pumasok in one area or another, pwede nyo pagandaan lahat. Okay? So, I hope marami kayo natutunan sa weekly charting session natin this week. Um, if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this channel a like. Uh, no, uh, sorry, give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Um, paalala lang ulit, none of what I said is to be considered as financial or investment advice. Lahat po tayo dito, mga tinuturo natin is for educational purposes only. Okay? And as always, guys, maraming salamat po sa panonood. Good luck and happy trading!